Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel Nest Artfully. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through my Goa home tour. Now, I wasn't expecting to do it this quick because a lot of the room makeovers are still pending but I'm forced to do it because of some news from our site which I will later reveal in this video. Do stay tuned. However, for now, I didn't want to not show you guys how the various elements that we've already put in place flow so cohesively well with each other and so I thought I'd do a quick home tour to show you how the house has evolved from the time we moved in to now. Let's get started. Starting off with the entrance into the house, this is a small entryway or foyer section and we had some big plans for this space but for now what we've done is just put this thrift piece of console table which we are going to do a DIY with for the next video so do stay tuned for that, we're going to really change how it looks and upgrade it into something really cool. But in terms of the wall treatment, I did want to put a bit of wallpaper and then put up this mirror or some artwork that I could DIY. For now, however, the only change that we've really made is to change the lamp and this is something that I really love. Right after the entryway to the house, we have our guest bedroom to the left and it's a small room. I've already shown the styling of this room. This room is quite small so all our choices were based on the size. We got this sliding door wardrobe here and that's re really useful because we don't have to open doors out. We have a queen sized cot and uh, the side tables again is very minimal because I did a very simple DIY and then we just have a little bit of art on the wall. So other than the curtains of course and these few pieces of furniture we've not done anything much in this room but it still looks very minimalistic and cozy. And after the foyer section it's pretty much an open floor plan which is something that uh, is the first time for us. We've not lived in a house where the floor plan is this simple and this open. We've always had it in some sort of a shape or a break. And the other unique thing about this house is that this is truly from where you appreciate the fact that they have given tall ceilings. So it's really, really it just opens up the space, looks amazing. And uh, so it starts with, off with our living section and our balcony of course on one side and the terrace opens up on the other side. And now we've come to the dining section of the home. So here I had some plans to really decorate this wall behind me because it's a beautiful blank space that can be done up. I wanted to do a gallery setup of water paint botanicals. However, those paintings are still with the artist and finding their way to me. So once they come, I'll be able to do that. But for now, this is our very simple setup. We've gone with a marble top six seater dining table and we've paired it with these lovely wooden chairs with cane detailing. We purchased them separately, so it took a long time to put them together because the chairs themselves took more than 3-4 months to reach us. 
but now it looks really nice it ties very well with each other as well as with the rest of the furniture in the living section the marble was a conscious choice this time around because i didn't want the house to only have wood elements i wanted some other textures and elements to you know give a visually more exciting look so the stone really really offsets the wood and the other details and i'm now standing on our balcony this is quite a good size for the balcony and we get to keep plants here which we can see from the living section so it's really nice it adds to the calm and peace also in the evenings we can see the sunset from here so it's something really nice to enjoy from here and now we are on this huge terrace it's a private terrace and it's really spacious so it's been very useful for us to do some of our diy projects like working with wood and uh, we have these large windows that open out into this space for now we only have plans though i did have some initial ideas around creating a cafe style set up here with a wall mural and outdoor seating we also did have plans to grow our own edibles however with the weather we realized we'll have to create a more permanent setup out here to be able to manage that because just very very uh, heavy monsoons or intense heat and the plants wouldn't do well in either of these conditions and this is our son's bedroom so this is right adjacent to the dining area and again we had a lot of plans for the makeover in this room for now we've just invested in this furniture so this is actually a bunk bed which came with a day bed and a small uh, cupboard as well for storage for his clothes and so on so this is it we've not done much but this itself is a very visually striking piece he wanted something in orange it currently happens to be his favorite color so that's what we've got and in terms of the walls or any art or decor we've not really gotten around to doing any of that so for now the room is really minimalist and simple and this is our kitchen the very first space we tackled when we moved into this house and it's a special place because this is also where we did our very first woodworking project which are these open shelf DIYs now besides this the only other thing that we changed here was to install some blinds in order to block out the utility area where we have our dishwasher and the washing machine and this was important to us because we could look into the utility area right from the living section and that is something we want to avoid We're in the last room for this home tour which is our master bedroom. We had many plans for it but currently it's still very simple and minimalistic. One of the few items that I'd really like to point out is this wall mounted table. So we knew that, you know, working out of the living room isn't always going to be feasible with a little one at home. So we decided to have a table unit in the bedroom. However, we wanted to save on floor space so we went with this option. which allows us to just open up the table when we need it and then close it back so inside there are few shelves and that helps us store few basic stationery books and you know even things like medicines that we may need in the night etc so it's a very useful buy and we've kept the floor plan in such a way that we tucked away our small wardrobe right at the end corner of this room it's again a small wardrobe just three doors but it's more than enough for our requirements our cot is once again queen sized i really love this piece and i absolutely wanted it because of the cane work on it i'm really happy with it uh, in fact it's a cot that you know really allows for a lot more styling in the room which i can hopefully do in the future
So we were not expecting to do this home tour so early on our journey here in Goa. It's just been eight months and there's a lot more that we wanted to do with the space. However, there are some very big changes happening in our lives and one of them being the fact that we are relocating to Bangalore and this is quite unexpected. It's something we are still processing ourselves because we plan to stay in Goa for at least two to three years and we've only been here about eight months. So a lot of our plans have not yet, you know, been realized, but life's like that, it keeps changing. And while I'm happy that we lived in this particular home for eight months because it's very unique, it's not something we've experienced in the past. I'm also excited to go to our new home in Bangalore because it's a new space always means new possibilities and new DIYs and new decor. So it's a very exciting phase for me always. So looking forward to that and hope you guys will stay tuned to the channel and watch our videos from Bangalore and continue to show us the same love and support you always have. So thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching and as always take care and have a great day.